Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, my, uh, my sister. I'm Prince Ayo Dibu Uyi Fon, the Padulai of Lagos. Uh, my position as a Padulai is one of the war chiefs of Lagos, which has been existing since 1630, when the first of of Lagos, Oba Adu Keme, which we popularly call Oba Adu came to Lagos as a prince from Benin and became the first order of Lagos. So, uh, three of the white statues now who belong to the Abadmon class of the white statues, which are the watching. And one of the three is uh, Achomon, popularly known in Benin as Essebon. Bajula A, which is called Bazua A, and we have Obazua, which is Bashua. Those are the three watches that came with the other first of all Lagos to Lagos to make him the then prince Ado to make him the other of Lagos. So, how can you describe your title? You've told us a little bit about it. Is there a little bit more that? Now it's more of a, yeah, of course you can't go to one now, but what is your title and what is the responsibility of Bad Man of Lagos now? Oh, well, when you see, when, when people come to ask me, they say, what is the title, what, what, is the, what are the responsibilities of the title now? You know, I look, I look back and I think, I wish I was alive when uh, the entity called Nigeria now, was what it used to be before the British came. You see, in Lagos, we have four classes of chief. We have the Akariwe, who are the administrators, which the other of Lagos belong to, and the Lecho de Bo is their heir. So we have the Idejos, which are our Monile. Which uh, is the head. Some of our others now in Lagos, you should know, have become, all, uh, you know, they used to be part of the chieftaincy, but now they are other players. Uh, they are others in their domain now. Right? Come. Oh, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope you don't mind. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Don't sit that easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, like I was saying, we have. Uh, oh my God. Uh, he's a little fool, like his father. <laughs> so, as I was saying, then we have the Ogaladates, who are the uh, traditional. The worshippers, the Abalis and the Babalaos, and the whatever. Then we have the Abakon, who are the war chiefs. Yeah, the, before you, what you call Nigerian army or whatever, they were the military officers that protect the territory as the sovereignty of Lagos. Then, with uh, Ajavan, is the head of the class. So, you see, when the British came, they have taken over much powers from the traditional institutions. So, now, we practice what we practice in papers. We don't have any role that we play anymore because of the modernization and the colonization there. So, but the successive government of Lagos I've never, never, or oh, Nigeria, I've never, never looked up one day and said, look, let us give this person institution powers. But we took the powers away from them. You know, we need your back. It's each one more back. That is each one more back. If you look back to history, 
on the southern or well, western part of Nigeria. I don't say south because south has a or western part of Nigeria, which is Yoruba nation, right? Then you have the chiefs, you have the urban. Those are the council. It's just like the parliament. Where you have the Senate president, or you have the Speaker of the House of Assembly, or House of Representatives, or whatever. And you have the you have the governor or the president. He has his commissioners. So think about it from grassroots upwards. And let tell me, you've taken the powers away from the national institution. So what we don't play any role. And what is important of us but the title and history. That is what is keeping in Lagos. Absolutely. We have a very rich history in Lagos that people, are, I think, need to learn about. You know, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And that brings me to my next question, sir. Can you tell us about the historical background of your palace? I was told it's 300 years old. Yeah. Like I said, I said to people, when you come here, we have about seven palaces that are still modern, uh, old, that are still, yeah, still yeah, historical, ancient, that are still standing. Mine is part of it. You can see the structure yourself. Uh, these are Portuguese structure that you find in Inuka, Itatungoro, with the Obas Palace, right? Then you go to Obanikoro Palace, you go to Ojora, who is now a king. You go to Olorogun Adodo, you go to Olorogun uh, Atebo, you go to Kosoko, those are the places, Eti and uh, uh, Ebe, those are still the old palaces. No, with modernization, like if you come here maybe next year, I don't know, God willing, you might not find this edifice here anymore. Really? Because everything is into modern. But when you have the pictures, you can still hold the pictures in the archives. So, what are the significant historical events that have happened in your palace? Well, in those see, days when they were still fighting wars, because I've been planning some wars here. And you see, I'll tell you something. You, I don't know, maybe you know about Ayo, uh, Adam Ben, sir. You know what they call Ayo uh, Badilai? You know, Luri? Ijalei. You see, Ayo uh, Badilai, right? Which is, you see, we have a symbol, what we call Usha. That's why they are, call, they are calling us Usha Kefa. And by the grace of God Almighty, by the powers that form me in the Kadun Koro, and your body lie will be officially installed as Usha Kefa. Inshallah. Hey, cha -cha. Ah, cha -cha. So, can you tell us? So, the, the, when they are going to war, then he has one thing that's his power. That's the port. Is the Kuku. Yes, the Kuku. Yeah, Shongo that he worships. That's why he worships Shongo. So when they go to war, he will appease the God of Shongo. He has his uh, abore that will put that pot on his head. And when they are going to war, he will continue until when the food is over. He will continue putting. Make sure that fire never dies out. So that's why you see a Yoba July and you see the Usha with the pot on the head. I don't know, maybe you've seen it before. Okay, I'll show you the photographs. They'll put it out now. Bring it out, boys. So you see. So that is the Usha. Right? They'll run in red and white. With the port on his head, yeah. uh, he has a physical power that has so much. So, it was, so, so that means that came from Benin, yes. So, it had, it had come, he was, so does that mean that Shongo, Benin was, well, Shongo is a Yoruba god, right? Well, you say something about Yoruba, who are Benin? Is that Yoruba? They claim Benin, Benin say they are the father of. Only of it. 
Is that not true? Yes, like what they said? Yes, sir. You historian can go back and, and you know. That's interesting. So, when you talk about Shongo, actually Shongo is a Nupe man. The, Nupe the mother man. was from Nupe. He became only I mean a laugh in your job. Go into history and you see that Shongo was one of the a laugh in your job. So now became a, a deity after he died. That is it. What, what, um, how do you preserve your records? Well, you see, mm -hmm. God, God saves us in uh, Yoruba land and Africa in general. If our forebears have been keeping records, don't be asking these questions. You just go into the archive and pull it out. If something you don't, the only time you can come to us is whether you something is conflicting or something, then we tell you. There is no records. But my records are in my brain. I learned from my own father. I heard him. And I know because I trained for good 38 years in, in that new ball. They taught, trained you on in the history of Lagos. Yeah. My history. late father, Obadinka, who he comes second. So I say, I saw, and I learned. That is my OSHA that I'm telling you. Oh, wow. You can put it on the camera and we will see. You will get it. You can get the picture. Yeah, so, so, what festivals are celebrated at Bajibaya Palace? Uh, I have uh, Ojube Rekete, which is celebrated in Dumata. Ojube Rekete? Ojube Rekete. The, the deity is there in the Dumata. What do you celebrate this for? For peace and prosperity. Is it every year? or? Whoa, you see, times now, things are changing, and you have to know who you trust before you go and face those deities now. Because some people can come and tell you this and that, but they are planning bad things for you. So, as a chief, in traditional times, as bad you like of Lagos, I can't face that deity. People will go and face it and do it for me. And the person that always performs the sacrifices for that deity is uh, Abore Onisemo. That is Abore Ovore Chief Onisemo. Because we are about, I can send to each other the palace of Onisemo. It's very close to where the died. But because my palace was brought to Isariko here, yeah, moved from the it was moved. Okay. Yeah. Why was it moved? That is a big question. You ask me why do you have Abagmo Palace very close to Oba of Lagos Palace? Because the other chiefs there. They are the people that always plan bad things to the other. Okay. So we are the war chiefs have to protect him. So at least you can make sure that everything is Everything is okay. I told your man here and your people that there is a palace just before you come into my palace here. That's the ocean deep. Because in time memorial, the other palace where you're facing now as the gate used to be the backyard and Osho Ibuku was the chief security of the backyard he has been the assistant before Osho Ditapa quote me and whoever take me to court on it right It was during Oba Akitoye time because 
of the war between Akitoye and his cousin Kusoko. Kusoko asked for the head of Obakitoye, for Osho, the being his chief general. He never killed Obakitoye. He brought a head. You know, Oba can never see cops in Yoruba land. He brought the head of one of the people that died during the war. And he knows that Kabisi will never... He can't look at it. He said it's Akitoye. Later, when Akitoye came back to the palace with the aid of the British, the British yes. he made Oshodi a chief in Lagos. That is Oshodi Tapa. Why was Oshodi way out to Akitoye instead of Kusoko? No. He saw what was, he was Kusoko's man. He saw what was going on, that the war has been lost. That is, okay, he already said I was done. He was done, and he doesn't want to lose good way. So he has to succumb to the power that he... Because he knows that the architect is going to overcome because he has the British behind him. That is it. That was why the son of Akito Dosumo, when he became the upper of Lagos, he signed the treaty. Because uh, he already... There was that was, and he did, never wanted to sign the treaty. But he didn't have a choice. He never had a choice. But if you look at the original copy of the treaty or whatever photocopy, you will see the sign of uh, ink that was poured on where his, his thumbprint was supposed to be. He was forced, he was taken out of the palace to, to the chief at Akogon to sign the treaty. Uh, so, sir, so what's the circus of the palace preserving accurate records? How can Lastrap help? How do you think Lastrap can help? Well, as I can understand, you people have been traveling all over the world, London and everywhere, to get records. records. But I just want to appeal to you, please, whoever you go there with, if they tell you this is how it is, cross check with other people. Don't just try what they want, because I don't want to go into conflict. I've told you before. Okay. And in what ways do you think culture can contribute to the sustainable development of Lagos State? Uh, first of all, let the government of Lagos State give us that as a holiday of holiday. Public holiday. Public holiday. So then we can talk about culture. How to help. But you are not giving us something you just think if, if you can throw peanuts and that is a no. Give us that day. We are begging for August 20. The Muslims, they have uh, Ilea, they have Fitunua, they have uh, Ajira or whatever they are calling. I don't. The Christians, they have Easter, they have uh, Christmas. We are asking for just one day. Let them give the Yoruba nation. All the governors of the Southwest should go and sit down and think about it and give us that public holiday. August 20, period. Very interesting. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Very interesting talking to you, sir. Is there anything you want to ask? No, sir. Well, I think he has a question. Yeah, there's this question. Just for documentation that I raised the other time. Again, how many? Yeah. 10 times to 20 times you've asked. <laughs> in respect of asking, is there in the medical system of what in Lagos, is there a way to reject? I've told you we don't have regents in Lagos, and we've never had regents. The only incident that happened was during the time when there was a struggle between Ulugungu Tere and Shokun. Yeah, that intervened and she was never being installed as a victim. I thank God the Aquino of Lagos now, the present Aquino of Lagos is around there. Aquino, please. Because I told you that that was the only reason. That was the only reason. That was the only reason. He can tell you more about that incident. If you are giving one chance to see one thing in Lagos, this man, let me tell you something. If I have to change anything in Lagos, 
false thing is security. That I want to return Lagos to what Lagos used to be. When your son, your daughter can walk around any time of the day, that is it. Kilo desi 
on the history of Lagos and the title that you believe. We say thank you. More grace to your elbow. He Bata. I did go for you. 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 <laughs> no, when you come to the history of Badafi division, Alapa is the number one king there, not Melotoye. Melotoye came from Ghana. Alapa of Alapa is the number one Oba from that area. Politically, there is going to be a time that everything will be revived. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. 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 O